This video shows you what to expect when you receive QGEL for the first time. QGEL MT 3D Matrix is delivered in a dark blue box that looks like this. Because QGEL MT 3D Matrix is a lyophilized powder, make sure that you order QGEL Buffer, which is a liquid, when placing your first order. Or make sure that you have enough QGEL Buffer in your stock room to be able to perform your experiment. QGEL Buffer is delivered in a light blue box that looks like this. When you receive QGEL MT 3D Matrix, store the box at minus 20 degrees Celsius in a dry, dark place. A temperature controlled freezer is recommended for storage of QGEL MT 3D Matrix. When you decide to perform your experiment, allow the vials to reach room temperature before opening them to conduct your experiment. You can order QGEL MT 3D Matrix by single vial, however, we recommend that you order in multiples of four, packed as shown here. The inner holder of the box can be removed for better handling at the bench. Shown here is a green vial. The green indicates that the QGEL powder in the vial is a degradable gel. QGEL also provides a red vial. Red indicates that the gel is a non-degrading gel. Storage conditions for both degradable and non-degradable QGEL are the same, that is, at minus 20 degrees Celsius in a dry, dark place. So we've had a look at unboxing QGEL MT 3D Matrix. Let's take a look at QGEL Buffer and carefully take note of the different storage conditions. When you receive QGEL Buffer, store the box at plus 5 degrees in a dry, dark place. A temperature-controlled refrigerator is recommended to store QGEL buffer. When you decide to perform your experiment, allow the vials to reach room temperature before opening them to conduct your experiment. If you have mistakenly frozen the buffer vials, that is not a problem. You will just need to wait longer for the vials to thaw and reach room temperature. You can order QGEL buffer only in multiples of four packed as shown in these slides. There is also an inner holder of the box that can be removed for better handling at the bench. QGEL Buffer A has a pH of approximately 7.8. So now you've seen QGEL Buffer and QGEL MT 3D Matrix. If you have both these vials at hand, you're almost ready to perform your first QGEL experiment. All you need now is your cell solution. With your cell solution, you are now ready. By mixing QGEL MT 3D Matrix, QGEL Buffer, and your cell solution in the right proportions, you will then be able to encapsulate your cells and conduct your first experiment with QGEL. To learn how to encapsulate cells in CAS 3D discs, please refer to the videos Encapsulating Cells and Casting 3D discs available on the QGEL website. For more information, please refer to the product information brochures with detailed instructions on handling.